Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is Contitech's series of service videos for automotive mechanics. My name is Stefan Meyer and in each video I'll show you a different vehicle engine. The videos are aimed at professional mechanics, not DIY car enthusiasts. Moin. Heute habe ich euch einen Motor aus einem VW mitgebracht. Aus dem Here we have an engine from 2013, VW Golf 7. It's a 103 kilowatt 1.4 liter engine with the engine code CPTA. Mit ACT, das ist das aktive Zylindermanagement und wir haben hier die Motorkennung CPTA. There are various timing belt kits for this engine. For the camshaft drive, we have the CT 1167 K1 kit. We also use our VD 1144 torsional vibration damper and a separate timing belt for the water pump, namely our CT 1169 WP1. Our CT1167 WP2 Pro Kit is a complete package, including everything. In other words, the camshaft drive timing belt and water pump timing belt with water pump. Here are the parts in the CT1167 K1 Kit. The tools from our V08 toolbox are required to fit them. Heute zeige ich euch den Zahnriemenwechsel vom Nockenwellentrieb. I'm going to show you how to replace the camshaft drive timing belt, the CT 1167K1, on an engine that has been removed to show everything more clearly. You can learn how to change the water pump complete with timing belt in a separate video. First you have to set the timing. To do this, remove the spark plug from the number 1 cylinder, so that we can follow the piston stroke. To lock the crankshaft, one bolt must be taken out, a new one inserted, and the camshaft must be secured in place from the rear. To set cylinder number one, introduce a screwdriver or a long rod into the spark plug hole and rotate the crankshaft until the piston in cylinder one has reached the top of its stroke. Then we have to insert our locking tools at the two points I mentioned. If the tools don't fit, it means we have set cylinder number 4 instead of number 1. So we have to repeat everything again until the tools can be locked in place there. The timing is now set correctly, so we are ready to expose the timing belt. Remove the timing belt guard and the belt pulley, then you can slacken the timing belt. You now remove the cover and the sealing screw, then undo the camshaft bolts behind it using the counter hold tool. Once this is done, you can loosen the tensioner pulley at the bolt, slacken the timing belt with the help of the tensioner pulley, remove the timing belt and replace the components. When replacing the tensioner pulley, you must take care to fit in a specific position. There is a protruding lug here, and the lug must be inserted into this slot. The two bolts for the camshafts need to be replaced with the bolts included in the kit. To start with, just tighten the new bolts by hand. You can now fit the timing belt, starting at the crankshaft, then passing it around the deflection pulley, the tensioner pulley, the exhaust camshaft, and finally the intake camshaft. It's important to make sure you follow this sequence. Turn the tensioner pulley's eccentric cam until the pointer moves about 10 mm beyond the adjustment notch, and then turn it back until it's in the center of the notch. Tighten the tensioner pulley's bolt to the specific torque. 
Now you have to tighten the two camshaft bolts to the correct torque again using the counter hold tool. The bolts are tightened in three stages. We start with stage 1 and 2 on the exhaust camshaft. We tighten to 18 Newton meters in stage 1, then 50 in stage 2. This is then repeated for the intake camshaft. Then comes stage 3 for the exhaust camshaft with 50 Newton meters plus 135 degrees. And the same again for the intake camshaft. You must now remove all locking tools so that you can turn the engine over for two full revolutions and check the timing again. Once this has been done and the timing is set correctly, you can reassemble everything in reverse order. So we are almost done. Now you just have to finish reassembling the engine. Follow the manufacturer's specifications, particularly for the tightening torques. Remember, don't overdo the tightening. Place our part replacement sticker in the engine compartments where it's clearly visible so that the customer sees you have installed quality.